five up towards the second middle. Taco spots them going for the wall bang, respect it, but will back away. Flashes to slow down phase, and it does seem to be working. Brackets control being vied for, and Nico, with an brave and brazen leap, is starting to take space. And MIBR fans, you want to see a good start to this. Keep in mind, they got, what, four rounds against G2 on this map, so... Let's uh, erase that. But now, though, FaZe looking to continue it through CT Arch. Nico up for every fight he seems to be able to have. And the A side is all under control from FaZe. The banner's flying high, leaving just Fallen and KNG to walk back into the newly appointed FaZe Kingdom. If there was ever anyone to do it, it would be these two. There's a kit to be recovered on TRK's corpse right in front. There we go. Scoops it up. But doubling up in Pit Brokey on the cold box. This is going to get funky. They just want to reserve themselves to catch the exits. There won't be any necessary need for that. They can sit in pit and survive that radius. So looking to, it seems, contain. That seems to be the only justification for their stationary stance. A kit in the next round with a smoke would be nice, but uh, Nico has something to say about that. The jumping Glock, he'll get that USP, picks himself up the smoke grenade as well, I believe. So, oh, well, he went down with the bomb. He wasn't far enough away. KNG will hold on to the CZ-75 and the armor, which is good because as the primary AWP on the CT side, if they were to go to a force by here, that means he doesn't need to invest as much. So let's see what type of an approach MIBR want to go for in round number two. Can we check if KNG took any damage on his Kevlar vest? And he got the helmet for 300. I uh, didn't see how much he spent. Someone, no, he bought a scout. Okay. Yeah, okay. So if he's just got himself... Oh, he has. He took one point of damage. Look at that. Ah. 99. Oh. So it's a full 1k to get himself that helmet. You don't love to see it. Don't know why that's still a factor in Counter-Strike. I saw that like, discussion. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't really. No. That's how it used to be. <laughs> Not going to hit the shot this time. KNG will back away. But he is, once again, Chad, right into the second yeah. round. You get that fight for middle. It's rare to see in tier one counter strikes someone so consistently go for that. Well, if he gets damage or when he gets the AWP, he gets a kill, it makes executing onto these bomb sites so much harder because you know how regimented the set pieces are. Fallen gets a, a little head over the wall. Drops on back here. We'll be holding on to his HE smoke and molotov for a little bit longer now note those smokes they will come into play if phase take too long to make a move with just over a minute left on the clock oh and a little bit of aggression coming out here fallen we'll dip the nade over the wall so that's nice now we might see the smoke towards the top of b and nico respect it yeah he does he, he he slows it down for a second the bomb's been picked up so they're gonna have to start folding and leaning towards site and it looks like a is gonna be it for now two players Posted up towards the app side of things, and you've got someone like Kanji sitting quite deep towards library. So people are very much ready for this one. Not going to allow any close quarter fights to come in, making the T's work for this. Look at TRK, though. He's still alive with a smoke towards that pit area, potentially using it if he gets mollied, but it could come into play now. 2 HP for KNG. He's kind of out of this one, and Brokey looking to swing around short. Is Nico in support? 20 seconds. Yeah, they could go horribly wrong. There is still that threat in library. Still, uh, sh not many more. My goodness. Great shots from Nico. They walk into the site eventually. I thought Taco could have played for that bomb plant, but it does seem like they've managed to get it down. Dust will settle and FaZe will take a big, deep breath. They've got themselves their second and cleanly. Yeah, that's much better from FaZe. They weren't flustered. That's one of the problems that can tend to happen when the clock ticks on down and you're so close to the bomb site, you tend to get a little bit lazy or Maybe leave a fight and just try and push on in and get that bomb down, but they didn't do so. And well, it looks like they will be allowed to hold on to all five of their upgraded weaponry from round number two. Whereas Fallen and Fur, they've got a Deagle CZ and a Scout between them. Carrying those through to the next round will give them just another shot at being disruptive, potentially take some AK 47s away, or at very best win them around here. Now, I'm assuming that scout will go back in the hands of KNG unless Fallen has a good spawn and wants to go hyper aggressive somewhere on the map with that. First still has a flash as well, so they could set up their teammates if they want to go for a bit of a pop flash over and take a fight once FaZe has established some map control towards top, mid, or banana. These are the rounds right here that you need to be putting in the back pocket if you are FaZe. They would have been frustrated with some of those clutch situations that they were losing, especially that one on three to Tarko within the uh, first map of Train. P250 for TRK. Tarko, he's just stayed with a flash and a USP, so let's see what MIBR can get done here. Oh! Team nade! Oh, no. oh, it was Kirby's nade. So not only the 1v2 where he flubbed the shot, it's now been a team kill.
converting Kenji's scout shot. That's not ideal, and it is not going to be easy to keep his mind clean. He said he's been more relaxed and least stressed than he's ever been in his life after taking that holiday and that break from Counter-Strike. And I'm sure this will be a rather br brutal reminder of how stressful the game of Counter-Strike can be. Look at them. MIBR are picking them apart. FaZe have not been able to get a single reply. I mean, the help from Kirby certainly does help, but of course now, Nico and Brokey have to do something quite miraculous to be clean about this. Of course, they do have the better weapons. They have a bit of armor to boot. They've got it all there, but Fur is just on the other side of that smoke. Brokey can keep him safe. They do have a real shot at this. Don't forget, it's AK's VP that's here. The more this round translates, the more space MRBR get, the more chance that they'll pick themselves up and upgrade, but... 40 seconds, there's the first fight. We're expecting the double peak. Fallen does not come out just yet. He knows and confirms it. Look at the time he's buying. He's just going to make him work for it. Nico's down to what, 4 HP he is? Must be weapons in Banana, right? TRK should come into this with something. Slow. There's got to be because... You can see the Xs. Okay, so there is something there. And the longer Fallen stays alive, the more chance he has to get them and be relevant to this. And they can't make... What? Oh, Fallen's just found Nico. It's on Brokey now, the 1v3. He can do something about this, keep in mind. These aren't easy fights for the CTs. He does have the gun. He looks the right one. Oh. oh, the turn! It's down to five. Yeah. Fallen has nothing to work with. Excellent play from Brokey in the end. Just about keeps control of it. But he had to turret that one out. My goodness, that was necessary for FaZe Clan, but they will not be happy with that one. Kirby, of all the people, will be. Just knowing that that has not translated into a loss in the column. Yeah, I am wincing because of how messy that was. This needs to get cleaned up and cleaned up fast from FaZe. I know that there's teething issues when you add a new player to the roster, but simple oh. things like releasing the nade and landing on the wall, blowing your teammate up to start a round, that's uh, starting the relationship off on the wrong foot, I might say. You can see the frustration on Cold there. Uh, they will walk away with that round. Now, the molly over the top with the smoke, forcing back the T's from taking mid control. And this right here is one of the maneuvers that KNG will use to find himself a mid pick. He wasn't there this time round. It was Tarko with that play. But what we can see on the radar is it's a very early lean towards the A site here. Four players from MIBR already within striking distance of A. Okay, they're, they're, they're keeping them on their toes here, but the CTs are in the right place at the right time. The lean from Fur is correct. Deep towards CT Arch, it keeps Taco kind of playing on the very verge of uh, holding over by Library, but the, the T's are right up middle here. They are looking for these fights. They still have smokes, still have mollies. They've still got a bit to play with. Into the, li <sighs> the line of sight of Fur. Bear in mind, he barely got a chance. You heard the steps, and then that was it. Now Fallen, looking to address the potential for this flank. It does feel like that banana split. Sweet as anything. Nico anticipating Fallen's position puts us into another, what looks to be the fourth for phase. There is Cold perfectly positioned in CT. KNG did look to catch someone there. That was Kirby who responsible for banana, but it is just part and parcel of their save. A little bit more chip damage as well to the poorest member of FaZe Clan at the moment, only 750 residual for Kirby, so he will be required something from a squad mate, not the end of the world. Cold so Sarah, drop me. I won't need you again. <laughs> I, I promise. promise. <laughs> Pinky promise. <laughs> He's working on the contract right now in Microsoft Paint. I, Marcus, will never throw a nade at you again. I know Brokey had some uh, moments early where he was with TK, you know, the AWP to the back of the head to, in a couple of games, but they played it off nice and fun on social media. I'm not sure in this circumstance where Cold Zero is going up against his... Uh, his old buddies, right? Yeah, it probably doesn't go down the same way. Just to note there, what facilitated or potentially facilitated that mid to B to be such a confident call coming out from phases, it's fallen are the two dead EB holders. And they'd also established that the AWP was over towards the balcony because KNG had taken a shot earlier in the round. KNG will float around with the AWP a little bit more. You also have Taco who could be in the mix, helping them lock down that B side of the map. But if you know Furs dropped, usually at that point, Fallen will be on an island over towards that B site. They were able to deal with him quite swiftly. And now those saved rifles, well, they've actually netted MIBR yet another gun round. So the buy will come out, the AWP this time round over towards the quad side. And no early pick from KNG. So what I was bigging up in their previous, it looks like he's taken a bit more of a passive approach here. It's exchange of the star. I, looking at TRK and Taco, they've, they've had a rough beginning here. I think they're both yet to even get on the board at this point. Struggling a little to find the form that we saw. Especially on train. KNG, they're going to show him how it's done. Nicely played towards rain. That's going to be at least 
keeping a good step of control towards the apartments. Yeah, boosting over their own half wall smoke, or I think that might be the CT retake smoke, but yeah, it was paired with the Molotov. You can see it faded just now. This will just go back into a B hit. The fact you've got banana control already and you've already bled out at least one molly and a smoke based off of that call right there means that now with four smokes, a molotov and two flashes, a B play is very, very possible. The limp smoke into the front of sight baited out yet another piece of utility from MIBR, but it's quickly skedaddling back towards midline. Oh, Kenji's going to be in the right places. Oh, no, he's just turned around again. He's sitting really deep on speedway. I quite like that. At least he's still relevant to both. I guess this is the benefit of having those two players over towards that pit side. You can just try and support as best you can from here. Yeah, he just has to stop the wrap. That's his entire responsibility at this point in time. And as the utility starts to get dropped, the B players start to get a little antsy. Good. Molotov will force him into the open. And he still hits the shots, though. Great start from TRK. Taka responsible now. Crouching down in the mini pit, unannounced. 10 seconds, he can he stop the plan? He can find Kirby, that's a start, but the bomb does go down. 2v4, Cold Zera needs to pull something magic out of the hat, and so far, so good. Fur gone for the retake. How does he get away being on that balcony like that? I thought he'd be punished instantly, but Cold Zera does Cold Zera things, and now, as said, the time ticks against the CTs, and they're playing it back in. KNG was pretty uh, on point before, but to make their way forward and Fallen's the one on the site for now. Taco's still below. He's the one looking towards short. It's going to be success from Brokey but a fall from Cold Zera means now a 1v2. KNG baited on the it. shot. Got Here it. we go. Oh, Brokey oh, run, boys, run, run. Doesn't get there in time. MIBR finally get on the board. That plant, the, the choice of plant spot lost them around there. I mean, that's that was a brilliant play from Brokey. He gets four kills in the round. He jiggles out the orb shot. He's in that 1v2. He's played it to perfection. Unfortunately, it's a game of millimeters and planting that bomb in that spot, one fall in the round. Now, the fact that all five members of MIBR did go down here in the pursuit of getting around on the board has havoc on their buy. Look at this, three Famuses, an MP9 and the AWP. So eyes on KNG here, but Brokey, he's well aware. He's looking towards second mid. He caught rain last time. Doesn't look like it's gonna be the same again. Much more caution towards the mid control, and Kirby pipes up with a very loud opening kill. That's one of the figures of the B defense for MIBR. Cut down early. Look how quick that drew, drew the rotation as well. KNG straight over towards that B bomb site with the AWP and going forward again. He loves this aggression, needs an equalizer. He's gonna find it. Oh, walks into Brokey on the logs. Higher line of sight, unpredictable. Our team flash though from Brokey has slowed them down. It shouldn't have too many ramifications. Good utility deployed, bombs behind him. And yep, falling out of the sight. It looks like that early frag from Kirby has been converted. I, this, we want, I want Kirby at his best, right? Because he can be so much fun to watch. I, you know, I haven't seen him at his peak in a long time. I barely saw him on North. When that change came in, I was like, I'm out of here, boys. Yeah, it wasn't was the reason I left, yeah. but <laughs> it's, as I said, I've never got to see him really find that form. So if he does in this roster, it's really exciting, but I don't know. I, I'm still a worried, but nice, nice work to start that up. And the, the value of one kill is pretty, uh, pretty impressive. This chase right here, though, from FaZe, it could be everything. If they can take away, especially this AWP out of the hands of Fallen, they push MIBR's money down into the bin. TRK with two big frags. That might stop the remainder of the FaZe players from pushing forward, but Cold Zero pushed up towards the end of halls. Might be able to find something here. Taco could go down here. He's holding the right angle. Oh, the jiggle just He's gonna get an AK. And Taco should be able to recover Ooh. it. Yeah, you're bang on, Chad. They managed to recover. An AK and an AWP brought into round seven. It's five to one current scoreline. Opening kills are being led by FaZe. It's four to one. And the multi-kill round is the same. So FaZe certainly have it in the driving seat of this one. And the stats back that up. It's wild seeing such a... Until this point, obviously could change in the future. Quite decisive maps. You know, train was a, a very polarizing affair in MIBR's favor. And then here... Just be patient, Lauren. It's coming. Okay. Don't you worry. All right. Don't you worry. In a week's time, you will be on the overtime 30 rounds every single game train. This Do it is while you have it. No, no. Put me in the hurt locker. Just, just you, throw, throw no, me in. No, no. Be very yeah, yeah, careful yeah, yeah, what yeah. you wish for, Lauren. I'm happy Listen to Dad. He gives us all the best advice. We're going to enjoy what we have we while we have it. start slow. And we ramp up. Ramp it up. Yeah. That's how we scripted this event. Oh, up. You called them up. Phase. All right, map two. Map two. Ramping Yanko. it up yeah. now. Now it starts at the top. I go, hello, Gabe? Yes. Right. All right. 
and then I then I go down the down the list. That road, alt mid is called Via Dante, and we're on Inferno. Dante's Inferno. Clever little valve. Clever sausages. Love it. Or vegetarian sausages, tofu and all that, whatever you prefer. Protein of choice. Protein of choice, and that's the protein of choice for this round. Rain blows the head off TRK. All right, Taco's got to be feeling worse for where head's still ringing as to how this has all happened, but the bomb. Alex, they're disengaging. The T's are having a wander back here. This falls into Ken Jean's hands. And Kirby's going to be the first head on the chopping. Block a missed shot. That's the window. They're going to start charging. He knows it. The balls, they're hunting him down. He hits the wall bang and does manage to get around the corner just in time. Flash is good. Going. Flash is great. Nico's even caught it. Firkin support. He needs a multi. He's got one before Rain silences him. He's getting swung on. KNG thriving in the chaos initially. We got a 3v2 and the bomb is going down. Oh, these two have to go to work. Oh, nice nade. That's going to clear out Nico. Bomb is planted, though, so FaZe still have a good advantage here. And look at the guns. Fallen's got the SMG. Taco at least has the rifle. So low, though. Exactly that time ticking. They've got to make a move. Rain versus Fallen. Rain gets the contact. We are just slightly good swing from Cold Zera. And there's Rain to just smooth things out of the end. But you're right. It looked like Pamplona for a second up banana there. Yeah, my goodness. KNG, who had the right idea, but you could see the fallback strategy from him. The rotate was coming in. It was just panic button hit. And it does translate into three for Rain, six for FaZe Clan. Let's not forget the 16-8 scoreline. You can see it in the top right. If you have just joined us, don't worry. You're bang on time. We're probably going to be seeing that dust too as well. Very early to be saying things like that. Does look like FaZe have got a good hold of their T side here. A direct contrast to the T side start from MIBR on their map pick. Yeah, if you missed Train, Kirby was getting bullied towards that inner bomb site, which is pretty par for the course with a map like Train. Ooh. The inside holder is tends to get peppered a little bit more, but now on the T side, he's been given the responsibility of Banana, and that, well, is an opening kill onto Fallen. It is just against the pistols, but the confidence will be building here. Three kills to his name. Can he get four onto Fur? Oh, the timing is gorgeous. Just as they start to hit the W key, the flash does pop. Rotating in, armored pistols, and a flash on fur. It, the, probably the best bet they've got is fur flashing a group of pistols through the smoke. And it looks like that was option two. They opt for the first. It is run away, save, and you'll be able to upgrade that Kevlar if you haven't been scathed. The, the thing is, because they have bought the Kevlar uh, and they know that they're going up against AK-47s and an AWP, they won't even need to upgrade it. So with that in play on the CT side, it is very valuable to hold on to that. It's like, oh, they've only got pistols. What's the point? You know, why don't they go for this? Why don't they try and get a couple of guns? Well, flowing forward, what that is going to allow will be the full set of utility. Gives them all the goodies that they do desire. It might feel like Christmas morning. And it's about time they get a proper buy on the board, Lauren, because it's all been a bit hodgepodge, hasn't it? Yeah, can you just remind me, Kanji orbs more on this, does he? Or is, is yeah. this is what we've seen? CT side Inferno, Kanji does that's the his, Yeah, That's his role. Cool. Fantastic. No, I'm just trying to like get it into my head now. It's, it's I'm hard. So, I'm so used to seeing Fallen, right? You see Fallen on the roster, I'm like, Fallen's an orper. And Fallen, you know, you see him going towards Banana. You, you see right. you hit that corner that you see now Molotov by default was kind of his forged by him. Right. But... I would assume right now, and we're about to find out, the emergency button will be hit. No, okay. I was going to say Fallen might double down and dip into the double orb setup. We saw that come out the other day against G2. It didn't help them an awful lot. But that was a decision of where I thought this one may be going. So, timeout, as we hear the thinking music ticking away, that needs to be where MIBR are coming up with a couple of ideas to quell this phase T side attack. They're getting map control very easily. They're staying poised within the late rounds as they are taking these sites. Brokey did bow them out of a horrendous situation a little bit earlier, and the only round that they did win was with all five MIBR players being wiped out of the server and a cheeky little diffuse over towards A. 7-1, <laughs> yes, I won Cologne in Germany, Brazil. <laughs> Stay away from those memes now, Lauren. Sorry. I'm so scared. Don't be afraid, Chad, you're big. Be brave. That's why I go to the gym every day now. <laughs> you got to get ready for what's coming your way. I'm significantly less scared now I've seen the MIBR fan cams, actually. <laughs> oh, he's playing a dangerous game. I do not associate with Alex Machine Richardson. I merely have to work with him. I've uh, signed a waiver. <laughs> Round nine. Same as before. Perfectly anti-flash, but there's a second where that came from. 
Kirby's just spraying wildly into the smoke. He didn't have a trade partner. A little hungry. Oh, Nico. Burning, burning, burning. Down to 26. He does get across. It is first still unchecked on the site. And Rain, great wow. move. Just leaping onto the second. Oranges does lose his life in the process. We've got ourselves a very close quarters duel here. Brokey needs to find TRK and he hits the first shot. Got Dink though. Look at the HP, it's so low. Nico 26, Brokey 12, it's nothing. Taco could do this for sure. Apparently not. He got lost in the smoke, okay? That looked a bit strange as we got to his POV. It was like, he looked like he was in the yeah. open, but on his screen, most likely it was completely gray. And those are the little details right there that sometimes you miss when you are watching within the GoTV and the realms of, well, what we're showing everybody at home. So, eight rounds on the board for FaZe now. They've won the half. So, job done but you really want to continue to pile this on. In the first game, we were talking about them getting rounds in the second half, seeing if they could battle back, build up the confidence, go in that direction. The same isn't said for MIBR. They're warmed up. They were already positive from map number one, and now they're being beaten down in map number two, getting a bit of a uh, reality shock. Where does Dust2 sit between these two? Because obviously we've just seen two very polarizing maps. We've seen two quite polarizing results in their previous affairs. Um, that's not bad though, Fur being set up for success towards Nico. That's that's a big scout to be claimed. I'll, I'll come back to if anything else dangerous happens. It looks like they're trying to make a play here towards Banana and that one dipping down. Oh, I like this. Oh, that's perfect. Fur will find himself a freebie. Gerby not expecting anything. There's a smoke top Banana. He feels like he's safe as houses. Great catch, MIBR in good pursuit of their second round here. Now, keep in mind here that it is four pistols and the M4. TRK's utility and Taco's smoke as well makes this more interesting, but phase stay together and trade efficiently on towards that B bomb site. Once you have that secured, it could be a two on three post plant. Fur, you need to do more. He's primed for it, but great pre-aim. Cold was ready, and it is only Deagles outside of that. So losing the rifle, losing your star. Is that a double smoke CT? Definitely yeah. a little uncoordinated from FaZe. Not going to be too punished yet. That Deagle oh. does chip away even Oi. further. And oh, it was Brokey this time. <laughs> two team kills for FaZe in the first 10 rounds of play. TRK's flash could be instrumental here. They, they, they have armor. They have a rifle on KNJ. This, this is very much feasible and doable. Cold Zero and Brokey backed into corners here. Having to play from the site itself. They don't have much, but they can work with each other. Swing out towards KNG. Success. That's the rifle gone. And now the 2v2 begins. Brokey's position. He's going to try and buy a bit of time here. Cold Zero going to hold his cross and Brokey just trying to keep eyes on him from CT. No, it's both from Coffins. Beautifully handled. Beautifully kept. Cold Zero, when the pressure's there, he seems to just rise to the occasion. <sighs> that one got a little bit spicy, but it was off of a multi-kill of fur, right? So they're in a multi-kill. Yeah, well, we need those back, don't we? M mega yes. kill. There's one. There's a deathmatch server I play with those on, and I really like it because I like. Well, I will be that guy. That's the one you made me play on. That's the one I took her yeah. to. Too. People, people won't like me very much, but I'm the guy on like Dust Two who stays in lower dark and yeah. kills the guys spawn on cat. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 used to, I enjoyed a bit of short as well. If you get yeah. the spawns right on that one's very nice. I'm one of those guys, so mm. I'm not a fan of uh, many deathmatch. Goes regulars. Mega. Then Monster. Monster. Ultra. Monster, ultra godlike. I think. I think. It's been a while since I played that. I don't get that give. far up. Oh man. <laughs> Those were the days. Ooh, this is quick. Phase three. It's 5v5 still, but they're wrapping straight around towards the arch side. They're taking a lot of space out of Fallen's rotate here. And if they just press pause, Taco's going to be in a spot of bother too. Look at the angle he's opted for. He's completely invisible to Taco. This is cool. I like this from FaZe Clan. They can hit the pause button here and just wait it out. The frags are going to come to them. Fallen clears his corners. A very big find early into the piece. Smart boy, Fallen. Kanji. Shadow. I think he saw a shadow or a foot at the very least, but baited in almost. It looked like Brokey kind of just but painted the picture and he waited so readily. TRK now knows he's in danger. He's losing the support system around him and he's isolated towards Pit. The bomb there, still on shore with Brokey, but no no hurry on this wow. and Fallen's capitalized. Out of nowhere, Nico and Kiebi get beheaded. Oh, tight line held and an easy miss. Go for more. He's going for more with the Desert Eagle. Brokey, he is no stranger to the confident Counter-Strike. And TRK, he dropped that smoke in pit. Cold will be cognizant of that. He knows there is a potential for a CT to still be housed there. And Brokey's had that information relayed to him. 28. Flush out pit, start to plant. That's the plan. Cold will peek on the contact. And he knows it. TRK, far too wise to these games. Cold, you monster. Smooth. And now he can hold the back, but that's the frag. Fur confirms the round. MIBR will find their second. 
Mm, look, that was another individual stepping up. If we want to uh, credit Fallen for the first round, they won by defusing the bomb. Then uh, we can say Fallen has basically won them two rounds. As you can see, he had three kills. He was dealing with the initial rotation over towards CT spawn. At one point in that round, we had five players, we had two Ts and three CTs focused on CT spawn. Now, that's not something you see every day of the week, but it's good that they're starting to get these rounds ticking on up. Now, let's see if they can string anything together here, because 9-6, that's nothing to really be too upset about. KNG, this is the move I'm talking about. It might flush him wide, it flushes him forward, and there's the opening pick. That's gorgeous, and he's going to get a second. No, nope, flash was there, and so was Rain. Oh, we've got a game here. The score may not indicate it, but it certainly feels like it. Each individual showing what they're absolutely capable of. And let's not forget, one of these teams will not advance after this game. MIBR or FaZe eliminated alongside Mouse Sports as some of the first teams to fall in ESL1 Cologne. Does see the dust settle with a nice double. Brokey and Cold Zera clawing it back for FaZe. We got ourselves a walk up on Kirby. If he finds space here, it's fallen. And he's been having quite the good game so far. To say the least, those rounds on the board, you can kind of chalk up to him, but... You have to do something quite impressive here and feel out the game correctly. Of course, Tarko having a good bit of information now that well, they're not proactive towards A. We don't know if they're top mid, but I don't see anything. So Fallen's probably preparing himself and he does only have that molly, but maybe he could do something with it. A flash could have been nice, but he's just going to have to play time. Did he just step then? Or I don't know if they're going to hear it at that point. He's, I mean, it's going to be checked. It's interesting to see the rotate still hasn't come in from Taco when they drop the smoke B. They've got enough time where they could be theoretically going to A, so as they remain dead silent, this oh, is the perfect camera for this. They're not clearing it. Check it, they right? They you clear it, they right? They just hold it. Cold's going to go down. This is embarrassing. Nobody checked it. Kyabi, the plant's not really for him either. He has to be worried about banana. Aha. Uh -huh. That's the jewel. That's the info. Knows the other's on the site. Kyabi, it's time for some redemption. That Molly, you said it could play dividends. Now into the fight and Fallen wins it. FaZe Clan are not going to be happy about the way that one transpired. It would have taken an extra second to clear your new box. And Fallen, he's going to go hunting for a weapon. Taka responsible for the defuse, having a little jump for They want to get the AWP here, just to make sure they can get that back in KNG's hands, because otherwise, wouldn't be able to afford that one. So, is he going to make it in time? Ooh, yes, he will. So, that's a big pickup right there. Fur has enough money if they want to drop one over and go for a double AWP setup. That could be on the table right here, but you can see Bomb goes down. Cold Zero completely unawares and Fallen drops the molly knowing that he's going to get pushed. Finds the kill, simple as that. And the in-game leader and captain of MIBR, well, he's having a day of this one. Needs to show a lot more here. But like I said, six rounds, if MIBR can get that, that's not bad. That really isn't bad at all. Considering how this game has started, considering yeah. the way that FaZe was shell-shocking them early, if MIBR can right this ship, we might be back onto something. Typical exchange of utility. And banana control seized. FaZe can leave Kirby there. Oh, they're going for the retake smoke and molly. Check this one out. Are they going to swing on it? Or is it simply enough? Yeah, that will do. That sends them packing. And now, retaking it with utility may become a necessity. I like it's how... Brackets. Yeah, how proactive the CT side are being here. Top of Banana, over towards Brackets, over towards Quad. KNG kind of shuts the case before Cold Zera made it look a little too deadly. But the three players on Banana for the Ts are still very much present, but Fallen's here. He is. He did a fantastic job the round prior. Smoke, Martovs. Bides his time. Fair will flash for the repeat. This could be problematic. Fallen's gone down early and they get across. Now the bomb can be planted. And where's that rotate at? Fur fast. He's in construction. He wasn't expecting to push through the smoke, Yerby. Little wild, little feral. But it is going to translate into a tenth. KNG could do nothing but sit back in spawn. The same place he started his round is where it will finish. Ten for FaZe Clan. Interesting little maneuver. I was just watching it back on Skybox there from MIBR. They, you want to bring it up after the round? Uh, it, they didn't net them the round. I just thought it was curious that they went for top banana control nades, but also then retook top mid at the same time. You kind of saw that from the the, the the first person POVs. I'd love to see it just flying through. Okay, well let oh, me let me get my people on the phone. Give them a bell. All right. So uh, I've been given the green light. 
Thumbs up. It's to go up. Here it is, right? So you're going to see this move come on in. The Molotov that Alex was talking about with the smoke grenade coming in any moment. Falling, jumping up on the box. And this is meant to push the T's out into that line of sight, right? Now, what I actually want to do is transition over towards A. So you can see them creeping. KNG's just taken mid-control. Taco and TRK have just pushed towards porch. This way, they guarantee some vision. Otherwise, they would have lost all parts of the map. And here they can hold on to, well, at least information, sure. but the frags didn't go their way. No, but it made a whole lot of sense seeing that action all going down at the same time. It really does cloud communications as well as everything else. We're into uh, the preserved or slash pistols and KNG again drawing blood in middle. That's twice he's taken one of the hardest hitters and now he's plucked Brokey out of the air as well. TRK with a final bullet, but KNG was happy to once again draw two frags to start this one off. Fallen will be tagged up just a little bit. <laughs> through the smoke. Ooh, hello. He said 9-6 wouldn't be too bad, but 10-5, not too far off it. Not too far off the mark. Certainly a competitive scoreline. MRBR are making leeway towards. This round, however, some of them unarmored. Never impossible when Cold Zera is in the server, especially on Inferno. The things he did for the team he now plays against on this map remain embedded and embossed in Counter-Strike's U history. What can, what can they make happen? I, I, the patience from MIBR, they're so attentive, so aggressive, so bold and brazen. I, I actually like watching KNG play. The man, he has some real fire to his style. Confidence. It's, it's gorgeous. You know, they're ready to re-peak straight away. Sits there waiting anti-flash for it. But now, they've fallen back. Super quiet, super passive, deep on the side to make these T's have to go so far to even get that fight that they might want. Cold Zera. Playing towards the smoke that was put into play, and on the other side is Fur. Did he see Cold Cross? Yeah. I'm not sure if he has. I don't think so. I suspect it. They're both doing such a similar roll, and Fur's made heads roll. Cold Zera's down. It's just rain. Oh. The rain is 10 seconds and no hope to close. Well controlled by MIBR. Proactive, even when the economy, the guns, the weaponry shouldn't have favored them. And speaking of the economy, those close rounds that FaZe have had to battle through in the last, well, let's say, five or six have really come back to haunt them now. Having to drop some guns across to make this one work. Cold Zero yet to buy only has 1850 in the back pocket there. And wow, Fur with the Deagle gets greeted with uh, two smoke kills and last one there taking the rain as he jumps off the balcony. So going into the last round of the first half here, looks like 10 5 is very possible for MIBR. They're pushing three down mid. Yeah, what? Look at this. This is going to get Nico mad as hell. He only gets one. Rain with just the same. And coming up second mid is Cold Zero with his Desert Eagle. I love the change of pace from MIBR there. Look at KNG. He's about to push into Cold. He's going to get shot in the back. Oh, that's a nasty way to go with 90 seconds in the round still remaining. There's something about a confident team watching them do these sort of things. Obviously, it's so dangerous oh, and that adds it. to it. Bomb now recovered. KNG's eyes just pushed aside for a second. Brings it down to this 1v1 towards B at least, but does he even expect He's got no idea. He's clueless. He's looking the wrong way. The should have been an execution, but no. Kiebi gets to live for another time. He gets the chance to fight back in. TRK Does he hear KNG? He's held the Can cross. He get the timing? So they know, the call has, is he, he's, he's not at the back site. He's in the smoke, and he has got the element of surprise onto the first. TRK yet to reveal his position, but he's got a good inkling. Oh, what's him? Kiebi can win this clutch. He's already got two, looking for the 1v2. TRK. Yeah, he's very planted and it's perfect. 11 lines of life, but this map was a bit of a disaster against G2, but here we are. A, a lifeline has been shown by them. Yeah, Chris Tarrant's going to be asking if it's 50-50 or phone a friend. Backing away all the same. Good nade damage. Nico chipping away and only the USP to contain the B push. They're going to be playing for the retake. Kit on Brokey and a flash and a smoke still for Nico. Here comes the start of the retake. Fur biding his time in the corner. They look, they're they being baited in by Fallen, but they get the first cleanly. Watch Nico's flash. We're waiting for it. We'll He's waiting see. for Fallen to get into the site, get everyone in the right place. Oh, he's got the smoke. smoke. He can't take the smoke lineup. The smoke lineup's behind the bench. He can't get there because they're holding him. KNG puts him in the corner, pins him down. Brokey with the kick. Oh. Rain's having a mare. My goodness, gets the two. Time's a bit short now, and Fallen and Taka were hitting their shots. Another is needed. It has to be on Kirby. It has to be on Brokey, and he's done it all. Fallen? Fo Fo Fallen with some consistent fragging. He's done it in the defense. He's done it now in the first round of the attack. 
Just to note there, Fur was at the bottom of Banana with two flashes left, so if it was going to be a primarily CT spawn-based retake coming in for FaZe Clan, they would have had flashes to come over the site, which would have meant in the deep positions of construction where you're hidden or the back of sites at new box or in dark spot, they would have been able to peek off of those flashes. So that could have been a cool thing if it played on out. It didn't. They still pick up the round and Fallen now has to be responsible for at least three or four of these, but it's fast. They're straight down mid. Oh, there's two AKs waiting for them. Free fire was good onto KNG, TRK in support, and they have contained it. Kirby wasn't ready for fall and tucked in on the logs. And so, right at the start of this one, we've got just Nico's Deagle. And he's done crazy things with this weapon many, many times. Unfortunately, the shots just were not connecting. And so, MIBR, they start exactly how they need to. A double round strung together. Everybody's happy. We have a game on our hands here. Um, um, I, I, I want to see a close game between these two. I think we've seen quite polarizing results for them recently, and that's something that, you know, is it's not as exciting as watching both these teams bring the best they potentially can. So much to prove between them and so many new elements to try and contain. So 6-11 to 11 is certainly looking far better than it was on that first half when it looked like MIBR were just purely basing themselves on fallen success. But P250, Nade, and a flash is all the CT have to work with. Yeah, I start to get worried for FaZe because their CT side on train was very janky and they played the late round situations poorly time after time. Not converting pistol is going to allow MIBR back in as TRK will tickle over towards Banana flashed off and now he might even get a chance to mop on up here. Get lots of cash here. Look at that. Very restrained with the MAC-10. He's got himself good helping already. Three kills, 600 bucks a pop. Nicely done, and TRK, get those uh, confidence kills, let's call them that. <laughs> Just a little bit of a freebie, but this Someone one... Someone has to get them, you know? Yeah, and some players... I used to like getting them. Me. Some players need them. You know, some players need the little boost more but than th others. That is actually a legit thing, right? There are certain players who, if they get a couple of kills on the pistol round, they can steamroll that won. confidence into the rest of the game, which is crazy, right? But uh, <laughs> makes a little bit of sense. Some players are just completely confident built or confidence built, I should say, but we'll have the guns coming out here for that of FaZe Clan. Silence down four for Cold Zero. It's a curious choice by many means, but fast up banana goes KNG. They have control here very early. Okay, so Brokey and Rain over towards A right now. Brokey's actually playing the sight line with the AWP. Rain over towards the pit. Thank you very much, Jakey. And the rotation towards Speedway's come on in, so Cold Zero is holding that passively. They're expecting a B hit off the bat here. This could be research, tendencies, all of those goodies coming into play. Because this is an early lean, and it's almost in ro well in limbo, right? Because Cold isn't really committed anywhere. He's just an early warning signal. He can't stop them going through from this position. And just because I didn't know it for a while, so for, pro tip for you guys, if you are where Cold is on Speedway, you can hear everything that's happening in Banana and vice versa. If you're in the other corner, as you can see on the minimap, you'll hear that rotate Speedway. Very important and integral part of the Inferno gameplay. Smoke's deployed. A hit. Responsive smoke early, being deployed by their pit player, Rain. Looking to line something up. Brokey to be tested here as well. A safe pair of hands in Rain. This is the moment you see them come through. Two kills, stays alive, makes them work for it. But first broken back in. So now Brokey is isolated. Yeah, and he's got a hard shot to hit. He's looking in the right direction. He's exposed to that balcony position. And KNG up long. Kirby can't quite catch the trade. Taco's set up on balcony perfectly, and he's made a whole lot of noise. KNG in graveyard. It should be the conversion. Nico to clutch. He knows where both are. Fur low as well. I like that. Smoke will force Fur to be unincluded. He jumps up on the hay bales and hits the spray a little wildly. That's the hard part done. Three like bullets is all he needs. And Nico secures 12 for the FaZe Clan. You see that he faked the reload. It baited Fur out to go for the jewel there. He was creeping around on low HP to find the frag, but... Whoa, Nico, way too smart, picks up the AWP, gets the defuse, a much needed round for FaZe here, but they're not out of the woods just yet. This plant is going to allow MIBR to go for yet another buy. Their economy is already swelling, fallen with 10k. The threat is imminent. Whoa, yeah, 10 grand on your T-side leader. 13 frags to him, he's alongside the top three. And then taking a look at the scores on the doors elsewhere, it does seem like a team effort elsewhere. The frags really are... Hard to separate between the two teams. It's just been those round wins coming right down to the wire. That's the fake reload Chad's talking about. And with three bullets left, he uses Jeez. all of them to find the head of fur. 
This sneaker's so good. He's nuts. I love it. And let's see the reactions from the team camp. Can't quite <laughs> believe it. They gobbled up the bait. God. I, you can't even blame him either, right? Oh. It's just Nico just outplays people. But K and G clearly fired up after the back of that. You could see the disappointment, the frustration. Has to fall away slightly though, as Nico negates everything that KNG just tried to do, and all that damage he took means absolutely nothing. And there's no doubt being sown either. That smoke didn't quite hit its mark. You can come just play in front of it. But look at this. Once again, it's a three-man B lean from FaZe. So they have a very good idea that MIBI just want to hit this site within the early stages of their T-side campaign. Yanko's been on the demos. He's been doing the work. Maybe. Don't know. Okay. Oh, to us. What the hell is Brokey up to? Clearly... They know Banana was a safe sort of area that the T's would love to play in. And, well, goodbye. That was that was beautiful. That's something you don't see every day. No, I, I think it would be really advisable, considering how many FAMAS are in play, that it would be good to get those AKs thrown out from TRK, just to stop that upgrade being a, a g given. He is present now, and those weapons will be stolen upon the rotate. Well, who's watching this? Is Cold watching this from yes, with the FAMAS? The barrel. It's a very... Oh, so Cold's actually holding a really tight line. He's more info than frags. It is with the reaction speeds like him, certainly possible. Smoke very default towards the library side. That's going to isolate the CTs on the other side of it. They can cross to library, clear that oh, out. going to creep through it. Oh, brother. cold has got no info. This is looking good from MIBR. They can clear the site, call it clear. The unknown is known. Taco, this is prime. Oh, this is so good. It should be the double kill here from Taco. Fur to flash. Even a nade, that'll do. And no, they find him. Perhaps not a guarantee after all. TRK goes hunting. Rain standing vigilant. Fur does manage to neutralize. And now the bomb no can time, go no down. Wow, I was so distracted by the fragging. I had no attention to the clock. Perhaps the same for Fur because 13's just been gifted to them. That was enough. Rotting the clock. They took too long after those initial casualties in Banana. Still, look at the money on phase. It's not great. And it's a double AWP that's been brought through into the next gun round. So Nico can wield that one over towards B. Brokey can use his over towards A. They'll cobble together the rest of the buy and drop over some guns. There was the opening. Here comes the wall bang. And this was KNG who took that damage early. He was probably trying to get his mitts on that AWP, unable to grab it. He crunched the numbers like he saw the flash bang and he was um, just kind of, okay, we'll carry the one, wind, account for wind, uh, make sure I do the square root. Uh, he paid attention in uh, maths. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. He's no, one of us. No. Mr. Bremner didn't like me. Very I was much. saying you, that you the get other day, above a B? Uh, yeah, I got a B. No, I got a B. You got a bang on the nose. Yeah. Above a B or a B? I graduated, so I had to pass. I guess I got a C or something. I don't C? know. C, okay. Yeah, I was too busy focusing on Counter-Strike. I slept in economics. That was your nap. Well, nice. what they did was I started economics when like year 11 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after they realized I was only going to play Counter-Strike all the time, they said, look, Chad, we'll take you off for this one and you can do whatever you want in the start of the day. Me and Chad were talking about this recently, Lauren. Yeah. Like, if I went back to school now, I'd have been so much more interested. Like, the history Learning, lesson, yeah. I'd actually be like, oh, this is... This isn't what it's, it's like it's I, I know it's kids are kids, right? Yeah, absolutely. And your Stupid interests are, are so elsewhere, you know, uh. your directions are going so many different ways. I think it's uh, it's funny, it's funky, it's definitely not perfect. We give all the kids some advice at home that you learn once you get a little bit older. The he Battle of Hastings sounds really interesting now I read about it. I didn't give a rat's ass. I loved about history it. to be fair. Yeah, that was 1066. like the one thing I liked. Yeah, I liked history and I liked English. Mm, I was English like, everything was else was horrible. Physics was okay because it kind of made sense to me. Maths, no, no, math was terrible, hated it. Absolute hot garbage. Didn't people just finish their GCSEs? IT was just uh, Shockwave games on a USB stick. Oh, we IT. played Unreal Tournament. Yeah, we, we, That's I think we put we Doom like, on the... Oh, uh, what? You guys were much cooler than me. I just had like the little helicopter game. My IT teacher did get banned though at one point because he showed something very inappropriate on uh -huh. his side. Yeah. Was it a Counter-Strike game? Because that it, would be inappropriate because <laughs> we have one be. in front of us now. An eco on the AWP. He's taken a leaf out of KNG's book for the aggressive hold into mid. Leaving the bomb at spawn as well. A different look from MIBR. They'll be taking a lot of space here. Apps is Furs. Another three-man B lean early. It's so strange that FaZe are doing this this late in the round, right? They just have three individuals stacked over towards B. God. That puts so much pressure on these two A defenders, which this time round is Nico and Rain. And Rain needs a double kill here, otherwise this round is lost. One. And that may not be enough unless Nico, no, pre-shot, not going to hit. The second does. Perhaps he can hold Molly. them back. I love the incendiary. A smoke helps him as well. The nade is good. He's getting pushed from every Ooh. angle. One more How's from Nico alive? as the rotate comes in. He spots him, but up on the box is KNG. God damn, how did he suffer through so much of that? If he'd gotten one then, that would have been a miracle bit of play from him. Gabby though, working up through quad, trying to get towards... 
close side of things. And to be fair, for all the T's they are tucked on the side, they haven't been able to cross out. One bonus of Nico buying so much time. The post plants are far from ideal. But now working through the motions, they've got to get a move on. They really do, and the flash is not he good. Flashes. Cole just flashed his whole squad. Running out of time, paranoid about Pit. They're all on the site. And in the smoke, the pre-fire won't work. Cold needs a fresh mag, but Brokey does find him. Surely they don't call it clear. They'll find him eventually, and they do have time. FaZe will secure 14 eventually, making sure the player with the kit is on that defuse. And Ooh. so no sweat wow. on the brow. It's 14. <laughs> no <laughs> seven. A little bit of sweat on the brow. Maybe I don't know. A little, a, little, mm, <laughs> a little nervous. So with the money where it is, the plant has allowed MIBR to go for either a half buy or they can go all in here. You can see lots of little bits and pieces Ooh. that were coming into the previous. Here's the retake. Brokey on the op, gonna flick around, take TRK off the top of the box. Gun into it at that point. 18 kills for Brokey right here, so really coming alive. For 17 on the other side of things, leading the way. Fallen 13, but Fallen's had a lot of impact with the kills that he has had so far. And again, three men towards the top of B. That's usual at the start. It's just more so the amount of time that they're hanging around here. But like I said, you're looking at the tendencies, you're watching the demos, you see that MIBR do enjoy a B finish. And once again, four members in Banana. Taco over towards alt mid by himself, just making sure they can't get any free information by peeking out of the window, pushing the hall's position. He's even smoked off towards the arch side, which will make them think something's going on. Nico, aggressive line. He's flubbed their smoke with his molly, I like that. They do manage to pivot perfectly though, in towards construction. This flank is gonna hurt, they're so distracted. They're unaware. This looks destructive. Kirby with one. He has to be paranoid about this. Yeah, he knows. Oh, he's at least can thinking about it. The flash looks good and he's getting himself out of trouble. But TRK quick on the trigger. Nico really, really worked out by Fallen. And that bomb can be planted fountain. Can't be contested just yet. KNG responsible for the construction wrap. Is it safe? You've yeah. got rounds to play with. You may as well keep that bank safe. You've got an AWP, you've got all your goodies. And so they concede. It was a nice play, though. That smoke enabling them just to wrap around. Ooh. So they would use that smoke to limp on in and, and creep up, and then you can jump on top of the first oranges box. You can potentially use it as a bit of a one-way to peek towards the back of the site. But you can see there, they used it to fight towards CT and wrap two th players through construction. Teams uh, occasionally would do something a little bit more telegraphed, or back in the day, we would talk about the Fnatic smokes covering off the front of coffins, as well as the front of the oranges, and then they would do a deeper smoke towards CT spawn. But this here, with the pace, a little bit more contact, you can see that pressure, how much that applied right here. Just using the guise of it to get on in, and you can see they're jumping up and over. We have multiple angles of elevation. Nico also missed his flash there. That may have been able to help, but this is the pressure we're talking about. You're getting a great bird's eye view of this, just yeah. to see how much trouble the CTs were in. And with those saved weapons, we should be seeing another gun round come on out. Not too many dramas for FaZe to be able to afford what they need, but if they lose this one and we start to fall into a little bit of trouble, the double digit discussion happens and then Dust 2 could be falling further and further off the cards. Brokey having a little bit of a leer down middle, but it's all mid that's got all the pressure building. All those T's slowly but surely working their way up and fall and actually was keeping that in mind. He's picked up the orb up on the T side here. Nico though, feels the pressure, hears the step, sees the players, he's down though. Swing comes in from Cold, but he's only got Taco. They're, they're winning this out so far. I can't believe Fur got another one there. He was actually jumping when he got spotted initially, and now Brokey getting away with just 30 HP. KNG, however, has almost confirmed it. By finding that B rotator, you can see Brokey just scarpering. He does not want anything oh. to do with that. Fur was just vicious Wasn't on he? Arch. We have real problems here, and if Brokey gets hunted down by TRK and Fallen, those problems get amplified even more so. 20 kills to his name now. The hunt is on, you can see. Coming up, Banana will be fallen, locking it down with the big green of his own, walking into the line of sight, and there it is. Now, everything has been taken away from FaZe. The money on Nico, 1900, 1950 for Kirby. We've got 2150 for Rain. And then you have Cold and Brokey with 3K plus, but it's not enough to get a buy going on. And now we can actually start the discussion of this one getting down to the wire because MIBR should be taking this one. It'll put them up to 10. The double digits is normally the warning sign where we start standing up. Get a little excited. And they are taking the save, so they're being conservative with this one here, our FaZe Clan. The loss bonus going into the next round will only be 2400, which still is not going to be enough to get a full buy out of uh, several players on the FaZe side of things. So compromise buys for the next few if they uh, continue to lose. Don't mind me asking, 
it, it feels like the CT sides are so fragile these days. Is it the economy just kind of polarizing this? Or is it simply the teams that we're seeing? Um, I, I feel like only G2 looks solid. I mean, there is an element of that for sure. There is this kind of new nightmare for CTs where you win one, then lose one, then have to do a half weird, weird one, and it can get out of control fast. The C side's definitely having a, a, more of an advantage. And this should just be a bit of an eco bash here, guys. So we're going to talk through this. The stats don't back it up that it swung to a T bias. It has it like a little bit, you know, oh. especially during the Krieg meta. But I talk about this quite a lot on, on the podcast with the guys who look at the numbers a little bit more deeply than I do. And it hasn't swung crazy, right? You know, it feels like it has. It does, yeah. But it, it hasn't gone as badly as what people are making it out to be. Um, the CT side, of course, now there are issues with the economy. We don't need to dig too much into them here, but for no, people no. playing at home who aren't too familiar, an M4 costs more than an AK-47. The CTs also have an incendiary which costs more than the Molotov. You've got a diffuse kit that you need to buy as well. And utility, it actually plays more of a role in zoning out the Ts and them taking map control. So there's lots of different ways that you can spin this. But the CTs, at least, they're the ones holding the choke points, right? So that's the that's the positive they have. I mean, here's the example. This is a prime example. Phase Plan have technically got everything they need, but that one kit on Brokey, your AWPer, going aggressive in apps, if he loses his life, suddenly that bomb going down is a death sentence. Loving this aggressive apps approach. This could go wonderfully for FaZe Clan. The swinging in, TRK, he's not gone yet. Nicely done from Rain. Can he get away? Fur looking to confirm. Oh, Brokey so visible, but he hits the close quarters. Of course he does. He does use it like a shotgun, go. Lauren. He can't have been, he didn't see the kill feed. He must yeah. have quicked. He's pretty good with that thing, isn't he? It's not bad at Pounding all. Pounding back into the site, a graceful bunny hop and Rain responsible for his Flank. This is good by KNG. They won't expect this. Never mind. Rain aware that the smoke gimmick play could have come in. This should be round number 15 on the board because Fallen, he has the AWP in hand, a full kit of utility on his belt, mm. but no control. Ooh. See you. Molly's not going to get him far. This frag might, though. He's going to force him out. Nice smoke from Rain. Doesn't have to worry about it just yet, but I love it. Brokey on the box. He can elevate himself over that smoke, and he will jump through it. Fallen, you bully bastard! Oh, he hits oh. the shot, pulls out the deagle. My god, another universe. He's hit at least two of those. Fallen and blowing your mind, Alex. There's, yeah. there's something real there, and you saw that there was a chance. It didn't happen, but as I said, those shots being the tiniest bit different could have ha could have been some fun here. But Chad, we're we're getting towards the kind of um, the the, uh, the the end of this potential. Dust two. Fifteen to ten, right? Yeah. So dust two's on the horizon. I mean, MIBR looked like they were kind of in charge here. This was a switch up, though. We saw that kind of double stack, or almost triple stack towards apps. Do you keep getting away with these gimmies? No, that one right there from FaZe, it was, I think that was because they didn't have the Molotovs to work with in the early stages, knew they had to take a bit of risk. But this is a, oh, they're doing the same play. This is a contact play up middle. They're going to get up past them. He hears it, sees it, they know too. The call and the comms is about to get a whole lot more chaotic. Yeah, this is going to be madness. What a weird round. They've got to know everything, right? Seeing all this util, seeing the presence, they've got to be able to put together the picture. But the CTs are there quickly, but not quick enough. Cold Zera falls with no trade available. No one oh. stop it. Brokey gets to see just a, a glimmer of the opponents and it's Faded away into the smoke. Okay, Rain, I like the angle. Bit of a one way here. KNG's dropped pit. TRK's on the box. God, it's so good for MIBR. They're even hearing the sound cues. This is theirs. There is no one sane enough to dispute that. Fallen will get it. And we've just got Nico on the other side of the map. And a great round from IBR. The, the, that is the counter to a three man stack apps. It's wrapping long into A. It's surprising that they would go for the same play again, though. You know, yeah. I, I don't understand. I thought it was a gimme. I mean, a one, a one and done. Yeah, you don't normally run that same kind of a setup round after round. It's good to throw in. Be, a counter, one off. Yeah, right. Counter Strike's gotten to the point where you need to have a bunch of those kind of moves in the back pocket to pull out when you need them. The stubbornness to go for that again was curious, and now they put themselves on the back foot by losing this round and losing it in such a stunning way. What's the money like? Nico could drop one and Brokey could buy, but I think when you only need one more round and the scoreline's 15 to 11, saving is the right call here. You can see trying to get on back out to grab some pit control was called Zira, and Fur already had the rotation, Kirby having to rotate in to try and stop that arch side bleeding, but there's a bit of frustration creeping on through. Now, Nico, maybe it's time for one of those rounds, my friend. <laughs> He's going to have the M4 and be heading over towards the A bomb site this time round. Top middle is where he is. He's going to go straight down, isn't he? He's going to try and win the round on his own. Fallen staring at it. He can chill for a second. KNG does go down. A very clean shot. Needs more. He does need more than that. Unfortunately for him, though, Fallen 
does get the necessary trade, and that was their hardest hitter, taking their best weapon into enemy territory. TRK controlling the banana aggressions, and they will start to finish over towards the second letter of the alphabet. <laughs> Just Brokey and a P250 to dispute. Go on. All right. Skipping away, but not enough today. That's something, though. Fallen quick to respond. We've got a game here, folks. Looks like Dust 2, though it is just one round away, will have quite the delay. What do you call in these rounds if you're if you're phased? Because honestly, I, I, I honestly I felt like MIBR's T side wasn't that bad. They try the gimme, it works out, but you try it twice and obviously it fails. Aren't you kind of putting yourself in a box here? It's very hard to be bold and brazen when you're in these scenarios. Yeah, right? for phase, it should be just do the five headshot strategy. I know that sounds silly, but what I mean is oh, just, you're right. just hold on the CT side. Just do the basics, right? Because it doesn't seem like MIBR are throwing anything crazy here. The fact that they go for that contact play, they were one round away from losing the game. Yeah, fair enough. But Nico wants the aggression. If he drops here, if he dies, we're in a lot of trouble right now. Phase clan, this could be round 13 given away, and then an eco will have to follow in round number 29, setting us up for all 30. Feeling like he has to do it all. A very old feeling and an old look for Nico, but it does seem to have reared its head once again. Crucial moment of the game here. Team forced into an early disadvantage and now Fallen can command his flesh puppets to do whatever he demands. And for now, it's into B. Nice catch from Cold Zera and Kirby's caught another on the cross. They went without the smoke. Now it's bloomed, but the damage is done. Oh, baffling here. This seems like such a weird round between the two, but a 4v3 favorable to the team currently sitting on 15. That would take us to map three. Dust two would be the one. And here come the remaining phase players. You're going to have rain down on Banana. Fallen is watching this, and that kind of feel he'd normally have that. He's done the damage. He's got a good tag, but rain, perfect flashback in. The brilliance of rain never ceases to amaze me in those small moments. But the CTs, they've got to get a move on. They really do another team flash. I, I swear I've got five on my own little hand tally. Taco distracted. Cold Sarah converts. And TRK, if he could just get them off the bomb. Why is no one That's on it? Kit. No one's on it. No one's got a kit. Brokey is on it. I think we've got another. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. It's all done. 16 mm. to 12. Right.